It's scientifically called Homerus australaceae, but don't be too alarmed, it's not an invasive species. This tiny scorpion is apparently native to the island. In fact, Department of Agriculture biologist Brent Tibbetts says this unique creature is found all over the Pacific and Southeast Asia, and also has the widest distribution of any scorpion known to man. The scorpion that's native here doesn't get very big, maybe two inches would be a pretty good size one. And uh, it's not only the stinger that it has is very, very small. It would be very unlikely it could even break human skin if it were to sting somebody. But even if it did, its venom is very, very weak. So it wouldn't be a, a threat to somebody's health to be stung by one of these. They're, they're very mild venom and very small stinger makes them really not much of a threat. While the Guam scorpion is not much of a threat, those that come from off-island are. Take, for example, this specimen. University of Guam entomologist Dr. Aubrey Moore says this hitchhiker snuck its way through Guam customs all the way from Guatemala. Sure, this was brought in to me live one morning, and uh, apparently it crawled out of some luggage um, of a returning passenger from Guatemala. Uh, she had come home and put her luggage down on the ground, and she found this among her luggage. Tibbets and more both say scorpions are usually found in dry areas, like under wood or tin, and are also in the crown of coconut trees. But if you see any sightings of weird-looking scorpions or other potential invasive species, it's best to call the plant inspection station. Here's the number, 472-1426. Josh Tikanko, Pacific News Center.